things when you're out camping and wanting to have a good time is to get a great sleep. And in this video, we're going to show you how. There's a few different options you've got in relation to camp mattresses. You can buy anything from your $10 yoga mat, you've got self-inflating mats, thermarest, ultralight hiking air mattresses, and then there's the larger air mattress. Air mats can be inflated by a pump or use your lungs. They're fantastic for lightweight camping, such as hiking, cycling, and kayaking. This Cedar Summit Air Sprung Series is the latest technology. They're warm, ultralight, and the nifty dry bag even doubles as a pump. The big air mattress is comfy and a great solution when you have your car to carry it. But don't forget the battery pump as no one will want to inflate this mattress. Once you've got your mattress set up, you need something to keep you warm. You've basically got two choices. You've got a smaller, down, warm sleeping bag or your slightly larger synthetic. The advantage of a down sleeping bag is that it compresses to a small size and they're really warm. The only issue is they are a little bit more expensive and they require a bit more care. The second sleeping bag is a synthetic one. They're slightly more robust than the down and if they get a bit wet they'll still keep you warm. The other advantage with the synthetic is they can be slightly more affordable. The other thing you can pack is a sleeping bag liner. They're really good because they keep your sleeping bag clean and you can wash these instead. You can even make them yourself out of an old sheet. This one's a cotton one. You can buy them in silk. Um, and in summer, if it's hot, you only have to sleep in these and you don't even need a sleeping bag. Now you've got your mattress and sleeping bag all set up and you know you're going to have a comfy night's sleep, it's time to come out and enjoy the beautiful scenery.